Hey folks, Doom Waves back here. Video response to Ball and Nick 1982's uh, video, Final Fantasy Then and Now. Uh, his video, he goes through uh, his gameplay experiences of all of the Final Fantasy games that he has played uh, from the beginning to up through the latest one that he has, and I think is the latest one. Um, I just thought it was a great idea. Uh, he has good, great videos, and uh, here's my response. And uh, it's virtually the same thing. I'm just going to go through all of the ones that I have and the ones that I've played, and kind of tell you my experience with them. And uh, I don't have all of them by any stretch. I have very few of them. Um, I'm a huge fan, uh, albeit. Not as big a fan as I'd like to be, just because time and money constraints keep me from having all of them and uh, playing all of them. So, I'll just get started. Um, I do really enjoy uh, Final Fantasy 1 for the NES. Um, I didn't actually play this game first on the NES. Um, I played it on uh, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls uh, for the Game Boy Advance. And uh, this is all that I have left of that. I let a friend borrow the game and it's long gone. Uh, but I do really enjoy it. And I, I do really want to get this copy back. Um, it has Final Fantasy 1 and 2 on it. And uh, that was my first time playing Final Fantasy 1. And... Uh, it wasn't the first Final Fantasy game that I played, but I really enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed turn-based RPGs, and I love the simplicity of it. And just this, this it's a great story, you know. And there's a definite, you know, a definite goal, and you just you just gotta get there. A lot of grinding involves, but that's a part of the charm of RPGs in general, but especially Final Fantasy. Uh, for the time, obviously, it's really great. Um, game. It's on the 8-bit Nintendo. Uh, on the Game Boy Advance, they up the graphics quite a bit. Or oh, I think they do. I think they're better. And uh, also, uh, there's I think there's one different class uh, that you're allowed to be. Um, uh, I, it's been a while since I played it, but I think you're able to be a monk. But they took out the black belt. I think they took out one and put in one. I think was how it worked. But e either way, uh, you get the idea. They didn't change much. They did add some things though. They added uh, four uh, like master dungeons, I guess, is what they are. Uh, one for each elemental uh, crystal or orb, as they call them in here. I think they call them crystals on the on the Dawn of Souls, but. Uh, each uh, four different elemental uh, master levels, I guess you call them, uh, that you can play, that you can access after you beat the game. Um, and then uh, Final Fantasy II. My experience with Final Fantasy II started there on uh, Dawn of Souls. And it is, it is the Final Fantasy, the real Final Fantasy II. It is not the two that is actually four, but I didn't know that at the time. I have since bought it on PSP and I have not yet got to play this yet, um, but I plan to very, very soon. Um, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy 2 on uh, Dawn of Souls. Um, I don't know, something about it, I've heard, uh, Ball and Nick even said that uh, he had heard uh, that a lot of people didn't like it and a lot of people didn't care for this PSP version. Um, I'm kind of anxious to find out why. I mean, I really liked Final Fantasy II uh, when I played it for the first time. Uh, I never did beat it, though. It's, it was quite a bit harder than Final Fantasy I, from what I understand. And, well, from my in my experience, I know it was. Uh, and I never did beat it. I got very close. I'm pretty sure I was, um, I was very close to the end. I was in the last dungeon, at least. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I never did beat it, but it wasn't because I didn't try. Um, Final Fantasy 3. Um, I don't have any version of Final Fantasy 3, um, but I do know that uh, Retro Gamer 3 
uh, posted it on his website, posted the ROM for it on his website. It was a fan translation, I believe. I think he's got a video about it, talking about it. So go check out his website. Go check out his YouTube channel, too. He's a really great YouTuber, uh, if you haven't already. I'm sure you have. He's got a ton of subscribers. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's got a really great translation, translated version, fan translated version of Final Fantasy III on his website. It's playable, and I'm pretty sure it's saveable. Um, I haven't, I haven't actually tried to save, but I did try, I did play it for a while, and it's just right there on his website. I don't think you can download it from there, but I know you can just, just log on to his website and play it right there, so I'm sure that if you're able to save, there's no reason that you couldn't just play the whole thing on his website. Uh, but I do know for a fact that he enjoyed it, uh, quite a bit better than, um, the other versions of it that have come out. So, check that out if you would like. Um, I'm, I'm recommending it, if that means anything to anyone. Final Fantasy 4, or 2, whichever one you want to call it. I haven't actually played this game yet. Uh, I, I just barely got started with it. Um, it's one of them that uh, I bought very recently. I, uh, so, I, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you what I think about this one uh, yet. A lot of people like it. And I'm hoping that I like it a lot. I'm sure it'll be great. I have confidence in that. Um, but I did get this recently, and even more recently, I got the PSP version, uh, Final Fantasy IV, which also includes the After Years. It's kind of a compilation, uh, from what I understand. Uh, anxious to play this one, too. I'm going to play Final Fantasy II before I play this one, but I am anxious to play Final Fantasy IV. And uh, next, it's kind of one of the spin-off games. It's not one of the numbered games, and I'm not sure if this counts, uh, but it counts to me because I really enjoy the game. And it's uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Um, this is a really great uh, strategy tactics game. I haven't played very many of these type of games, and, and I just really I enjoyed the story quite a bit. I'm actually not finished with it yet. I'm about halfway through. I've had it for a long time. I put it down forever. And uh, just starting to pick it back up within the last few months, playing it every now and then. It does get really repetitive. Uh, that's the only the downside I can say about it is you have uh, goals that you can accomplish, missions that you can complete, and the more missions you complete, the more experience you get, and the, the more money you get, and obviously... and yeah, uh, it's it, there's a lot to it, and uh, you gotta you have to you could dispatch uh, party members to go do these missions, but while they're gone, you have to try and fight without them. But if they're not strong enough to complete the mission by themselves, then they won't succeed. Then you will have just wasted your time. So you gotta kind of balance your party members and and you know get keep your your core uh, fighting guys together and spellcasters and, and archers and whatever it is you want to do and uh, and then also have the uh, a strong set of people that can go out and be dispatched on these missions and you can build a clan and your clan can be huge you could because people ask to join all the time and you can just add character after character after character if you want to but it's really a waste of time uh, you really just need you know less than a dozen people in your cl in your clan and uh your clans have turf wars and all this stuff to claim areas and yeah but th this is all you know just in addition to the actual story of the game so check it out if you'd like um it's not really one of the numbered final fantasies so i don't know if it counts and there's there's several other other final fantasy games that aren't really in the actual series but that's the only one i have I'd really like to play the one on the PlayStation as well, um, but I don't have it. Uh, next on the list is one that I have not played yet, and a lot of people think I'm crazy, and this is a lot of people's favorites, uh, and it is Final Fantasy VII. I do own it. Um, I started to play it uh, a long time ago when I first got, got into gaming, um, seven or eight years ago. I, I, I really don't remember when. That's when I bought it. I bought it used. So I uh, 
I didn't actually crack this case as bad as it is, but uh, yeah, it uh, I bought it complete, and uh, I had every intention of getting playing it because uh, one of my friends who was really into Final Fantasy and this was like his favorite, and he said you have to buy this, so I bought it used, and uh, I started to play it, and I got stuck, and I didn't really understand the materia at the time, and. Uh, I just never did move forward with it. So it's one of those games that uh, I really need to play. And uh, I've got a lot of those. Um, but actually at the moment, I don't even have a PlayStation. Uh, my PS2 shot craps a while back. So as of recording this video, I'm unable to play this, period. Uh, so it's just kind of a, a piece of my collection. But I do want to play this very badly. And, uh, yeah, that's another, rack another one up. Uh, they should make another version. They should put this on the PSP, and then, you know, I'd be able to at least take it with me. Uh, I skipped 3 slash 6 uh, for the Super Nintendo. I don't have that one. And I, I don't have 5 either, uh, Let's see how many other numbers did I skip? I don't have eight. I don't have nine. Never played either one of them. But I do have ten. And uh, this is my favorite Final Fantasy. I don't know why. Uh, it's a, that makes a lot of people cringe when I tell them that. And they say, why? Well, I don't really know. It, it's, it's just a really good story for me I guess I, and I think that uh, to some this may be a really bad place to start Final Fantasy because you you would play this and then you would assume that every other Final Fantasy game was like this one um, I didn't assume that when I got into it this was actually the first one that I played I got this when I was a uh, junior in high school that would have been, I don't know, seven, eight years ago when I was getting into gaming when I got my PlayStation 2. So we'll just say seven or eight years ago. Uh, this is one of the first games I got with the PS2. And uh, I played this thing for hours and hours and hours and hours. Probably the, well, in the top five games that I've played the most in my life. I've played this one through two or three times. I think I've only completed it twice, but I've, I've played it numerous times where I didn't actually finish, and then I, I quit playing, and then when I come back to it, I just restarted because I wanted to. Um, but I really, really like this one. Uh, I re Titus, yes, I'm aware he's a whiny baby, and he sucks, and his celestial weapon is impossible to unlock the... Uh, to, to make it the to get the, to get the last item you need to equip to make the celestial weapon work right is like impossible you have to like race chocobos and it, it's so hard and people are probably like oh you're a loser yeah I am a loser I can't do that it's impossible uh, my favorite character in this game is Orin of course uh, he is a total badass and uh, I really liked Yuna. I thought she was a really great character. I really liked the Aeons, the summoning ability. I, I like that a lot. Um, that's something that I haven't seen very much of in other Final Fantasy games that I've played. I know it exists in other Final Fantasy games, uh, but up to this point, the only other one that I've played that, exper that does that is coming up here in a second. Um, so yeah, Final Fantasy X. It's up there. I don't know why it's the top one, but it is. I can't explain it. It just it just is. Um, second to last one I have, I just picked up this weekend. It's uh, Final Fantasy XII. Um, I don't know what to, to say about this game. I haven't played it very much. I've seen it played uh, for a while. Uh, my brother-in-law played it for a while. And I, I, I do like that you can see the enemies before you know they attack you or before you before you get into battle the real time part about it I do like that and uh, I do like that they continued that 
in uh, the next one. Uh, but so I, I don't really have anything to say really about this one. This is just part of my collection of Final Fantasy games um, that is on my list to play once again. It's a PlayStation 2 game, and I don't have a PlayStation or PlayStation 2 right now, so I'm unable to try that out. And last but not least is Final Fantasy 13. Um, I have not beat this game. I'm only about 10 hours in ish. I'm, I'm actually not positive how far I'm into this. I'm in I'm a way. I've played a little while. And uh, there's there are parts that I, I don't care for. Um, I don't like the little uh, death clock thing. I forget what it's called. It's been a while since I played it actually. Um, the, while you're fighting the summons I, I don't even know what they're called. It's been, I haven't played this in about six months. Uh, while you're fighting them, you have a clock above your head, and then you have you have to win the battle before the clock runs out, or you just die. Uh, so that's that was tough uh, for me to get past. But uh, all in all, though, I really I do like the paradigm shifts in this game. Um, it keeps you on edge, and uh, it it. Uh, it forces you to use everybody in your party, really. Um, and it forces you to use everybody in your party a different way. Um, and not always just a focused, you know, this person does this, this person does this, this person does this. It really, it really forces you to make your characters well-rounded. And I do like that um, about this. And uh, as far as the characters go, Lightning is a total biatch. Uh, but she... She needs business, and she kicks a lot of ass. Um, yeah, you know, I like Snow. I think he's a great character. Uh, he's a little arrogant, uh, but all in all, I think it's a great character, and I think it's a great game. Uh, I'm anxious to finish this one, and I'm really anxious to buy and play uh, 13 2 also. And uh, I, I can obviously hope that... Uh, there is a 13.3. Uh, he mentioned, Ball and Egg mentioned that in his video, your video, if you're watching this. Uh, you mentioned that, that there is a possibility of a 13.3. And uh, if this one ends as good as it, I hope it does, and then the second one is as good as this one is so far for me, then sure. I hope that there's uh, another sequel. That would be great. And uh, I think that's about it. There's only one other game. Um, that I have had in the past that I no longer have, and that's Final Fantasy X-2. I hated it. I hated it a lot. But I didn't play it very much either. I'm sure it got better eventually, but I couldn't make it past... Uh, very. I couldn't make it very far. Uh, I really, really hated the leveling system of these uh, dress spheres and the garment grid. I really really hated it. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it was my masculinity speaking. I have no problem with a cast being all girls. That's not what bothered me. I, I don't even know what bothered me about it so much, but I really hated it. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I wasn't really hardcore into gaming, really. Um, so I just, I gave it to my brother-in-law. I was like, here, you want this? Because he liked Final Fantasy X also. And, uh, I just let him have it, and he says, yeah, sure, so, that was, that was that, and I haven't played it again since, uh, I'll probably get it again, because it's probably dirt cheap, it ought to be dirt cheap, because it sucks, so, <laughs> sorry if that's your favorite game in the series, I don't see how it could be, uh, anybody's favorite game in the series, but, uh, yeah, 10-2, didn't care for it, that's about all I got, though, for Final Fantasy um, I, there's tons of them I'd like to get. I'd like to get all of them for the DS. And I'd like to get Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo and, and Crystal Chronicles for the GameCube and and uh, the uh, Final Fantasy 1 for the PSP and all the rest of them. And 8, 9. Yeah. I, have no, I had no desire to play 11 either though. I just, I didn't like the online thing. I, I just, I just, I didn't care for it. I just... I never saw it played, and I never played it, so the way I view it is, I didn't miss anything because I never never saw it, never experienced it. So that's all I got. That's my Final Fantasy then and now. Thank you for watching. Doomways out.